Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful summer day here in Southern California. It's in the 90s. Ah, so that means there's almost no birds chirping because they're all trying to conserve energy, I suppose. But it's pretty warm. It's not that warm for me. I'm going to work on that hack today and on my truck. I didn't get to it yesterday. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Cleaning up the garage a bit. And there's Boomer sneaking into the garage. Boomer, you're not supposed to be out here. Okay, everybody, so I have a treat for you. It's the, uh, the elusive and very busy Megan Hello. popped in <laughs> to say hi, hi. with Brian. Hi. And uh, of course, uh, Boomy. Boomy's uh, taking advantage. <laughs> so, uh, Boomy missed me. So you're getting on a plane yeah. in Ontario, right? Don't know yeah. when you'll be back again, right? Get in don't know. Plane. <laughs> don't know when. Or you do know when you you'll be back again. I'm gonna do actually. Yeah. <laughs> and the next time you're coming down, you're going to be you're gonna have three cats with you. Driving down. Yeah. Huh? All right. Yep. And you guys get to keep them in the bedroom. Yay! Are they? Excited? None of them are okay with other cats. Uh, they're okay. I just they need to be in a small room. All right. Because they're high stress cats. They're not allowed out. Don't think the other two will be. Huh? Okay. Talk about the little ones too. Oh no, you're not gonna bring any of them, huh? It's just your three. Yeah. So. They'll be down here for like a month or two. Okay, and uh, Mojo's the only one that's a kind of a pain in the butt with them. Huh? But because Boomer's fine with anybody. Yeah, they'll they'll be. I want them kind of separated because yeah. they're already gonna be stressed out from the drive and stuff. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says that all the tires should, should be at 35 psi on my truck. So, I have, before I do this hack, I am gonna make sure that all the tires are 35 and see if the light will go off at that point. I don't think it will, but you never know. Maybe it's just been um, inaccurate all this time. All right, so I drove it around for about 10 minutes, and my light did not go off. So I'm going to reset it. And the rear right is going to be 30 pounds even. Okay, so this is the plug that I need to uh, to get to. It uh, it would like you to think that there's a bunch of, of wires co coming out of there, but there's only one. And all it really needs to do is to ground it out to uh, to reset it and of course they have a little device at the uh, dealership that cost a fortune and it would cost a fortune to get it done but all I'm going to do is stick a wire into the back of it they suggest they put it in the back here instead of in the front because it's easier to get to that way and then I'm just going to ground it out to this piece of metal right here because it's grounded and um, I'll get that in correctly. I gotta start it, and then I just tap the wire to the ground six times, and that should reset it. All right, so I'm gonna turn the, the key on so that the system is on just before turning the engine on, and then I ground this out, tap it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I drove it around for about 10 minutes. It took about that long before the light actually went off. And it did go off, and then it came back on. Now, it's supposed to come back on because all the pressure in all three tires are wrong. Uh, all four tires are wrong, so I need to uh, put the proper pressure back into the tires, and theoretically, the light will go back out again. All right, so I have exactly 35 pounds in all four of my tires and my light is solid on. So I'm gonna drive around just a little to see if it'll s turn off, but I don't have high hopes. So that didn't work. And the only thing I can think of now is one of my sensors is out or more, and uh, I don't have the money to fix that. So 
So see how much I'm gonna be able to get for this truck with the with this on. Hmm. Well, this brings us to the end of yet another video. I'm sorry Val wasn't in it at all. She had another pretty rough night last night. Uh, so she slept most of the day, uh, but at least um, Megan showed up, so I got to see her for a few minutes before she had to go run to the airport and take off. Um, I had videotaped, or I thought I had videotaped a little bit of the orchestra that uh, we went to watch t tonight, but it uh, wasn't there. So, uh, but it was a good orchestra. Uh, it's Corona Symphony. Interesting. I didn't know a uh, little local orchestra uh, would sound so good. They did. I was impressed. So uh, that's it for today. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, give us a like, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.